never actually seen this until this moment. This is kind of a myth here that I'd always heard about. What are we doing today? Hey, my name is Scott. I'm a radar mitigator. I make videos for other radar mitigators, so those looking to get in the business. And if you're a homeowner, of course you can stay and hang out. Uh, if you're looking for a radon mitigator, you want to go right down here to www.nrsp.org. That's National Radon Safety Board. Just plug in your zip code at that site. I'll bring up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. Today, we're about to flip a fan upside down. What? <laughs> so, this is a house that's been giving me a little trouble. And we started out with a conventional uh, radon fan. You'll notice that this is an oversized radon fan. Uh, evidenced by the uh, four by eight couplings on this big old mamma jamma. And it's meant to treat houses that are like three to four thousand square feet with a you know that kind of footprint. And uh, so we put the system in originally, like I said, regular fan. Uh, oh, here's here I can show you. See, these guys look like so four by four inlets, outlets, eight inch outlets big difference so this is a high volume fan not not to be confused with high suction high volume uh, you want good gravel underneath these big old footprints and that this is your uh, your fan right here uh, if you're curious it's the AMG of Fury uh, get them through Festa fans but so what we're doing today is it's not doing the trick uh, the original system the conventional system on the inside not bringing radon levels below four consistently. And so all right, we upgraded the fan because the gravel content was good underneath the slab. Still not reducing. And the, uh, the sound of the fan is not pleasing to the customer. Um, so we have a couple steps. So one is we could um, abandon this suction point and go to a new one just get a little further into the footprint because apparently we're not getting good suction for some reason or we could flip the fan upside down and that is that is not something you're going to find really in the manual <laughs> i don't think there is a manual <laughs> um, i've encountered it two times and and it worked so what we're doing is we're instead of drawing air out from under the house we are pushing air down under the house and keeping radon at bay that way and it can only be used when there's gravel you don't you don't do it in a high suction situation with poor gravel content so i'm going to go ahead and and so by the way when i when i flip when i provide this new fan i had to change the exhaust to four inch and I actually saved their original three inch exhaust. So we're gonna put that back on today, except we're gonna flip the fan upside down. So let's get on it. So I remember when I first got into radon mitigation, I reached up, I reached out to um, mitigators that were already out there. And everyone that I ever reached out to was so kind to me. And uh, you know, you got the guys that have been in it for 20 some years, they're getting ready to retire. They've got stories for you. Not everything's on YouTube. And so I remember the guy that I reached out to, I remember he mentioned, I can't even remember the context of him, of why he mentioned it, but it always stuck with me. An upside down fan, no kidding, huh? And then I found one on a system and I'm gonna try to recover that footage. It was like two or three years ago and I never did anything with it. Um, but then uh, I've encountered, this is my second or third one where I've had to implement it there's no guarantee that this is going to work, um, but I have been successful with them before. So uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna put the exhaust back on and fire it back up, and then uh, the customer is monitoring her radon levels. She'll let me know if it was successful or not, and then we'll either expand uh, her suction points or um, abandon the existing one and start a new one. We're just not sure yet. She's not crazy about putting new holes in her floors and I'm not forcing to do it either. <laughs> I got puppy. Old clamps out. Put in the new clamps. It will fit the three inch exhaust pipe. So if you've uh, never seen any of my videos and you're not sure how I make 
clamps. Um, I'll tell you real quick. So in the rare case that we would use four inch exhaust pipe for one of these Mamma Jammas, I use my exhaust pipes uh, with thin wall uh, PVC. This isn't schedule 40, you know, it's real lightweight. And so the clamps are coming from schedule 40 PVC, you know, all right. So this is a three inch exhaust pipe and this is schedule 40 pipe that we've just cut to size, cut it out and it just goes just boom like that. And you can ream out the holes uh, with three eighths bit and then puncture a little small hole or heck you can just drill a screw right on through it and it'll work just fine and since i'm trying to beat the rain um, i'm going to do that route right now so all right let's get on that there she is an upside down fan and this is a conventional fan the other pace that i had success with was i used an upside down high suction fan but there was gravel underneath the slab and again i'm going to try to dig up that footage for you there she is. I sure am glad that I saved that original exhaust. I've been hanging on to it for months. This is, gosh, this is like six months old or something. This is, this is the deal with radon. Uh, physical experimentation, patience, uh, patience on your customer's behalf helps. Uh, she's been really good to work with. She's not even here today, so I have no idea what the manometer looks like on the inside or anything like that. And so we shall see how she does. Let's boogie, let's get out of here. Hello folks, what are we doing today in Radon World? We are in an attic. Back there is the entrance. And the Radon fan that we are replacing today is all the way here. And it is upside down. This is kind of a myth here that I'd always heard about. I've heard that some houses are so difficult to treat that they got radon out by actually pushing the radon out as opposed to pulling it. Therefore, the fan is upside down. I've never actually seen this until this moment. So I'm kind of at a loss here as to as what to do. This could turn into a real project. I knew something was going to be a little hinky because downstairs there's multiple suction points and they're unconventionally done. Um, I'll show them to you here. So I, what I suspect has happened is, is whoever installed this system back in 2002 really pulled his hair out over it. And ultimately this is what, I mean, of course the, that's, that's no good. We'll have to redo that. But, Gosh, I, I'm just wondering what in the world do I do here? Do I put one in upside down and, and run it like this? Or do I try to do it conventionally, you know, pulling up that way? Right now the system's set pushing air down this way. <sighs> Jeez. And then of course you gotta test it over and over again. It's, you know, whoever touches it last owns it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the conundrum with it with a lot of folks in the trades. So, all right, we got another good one for you today. All right, so what I've resolved to do is I'm gonna put my fan on uh, conventionally with pulling air slash radon up from the basement and dispersing it out. Uh, so we've got a proper plug on and I'm gonna test airflow. Bear with me here. I have no idea what it's gonna do. It's moving air. I don't know. Might be too much or we're losing suction somewhere. All right, so high suction fan is mounted. We're getting ready to pull out of here. Here's the old one. And this was a high flow fan, not known for high suction. Okay, this installed in 2002. This is the original fan for the system. It wasn't replaced, so. What that means is the guy came back multiple times to try to fix it, evidenced by the uh, additional suction points downstairs, which I'll show you. So, pot thickens. Let's fire this thing up. All right, so we're gonna take the old guy out. That plug was kind of weak, though. All right, let's see. 
Here's my little hack for getting around an attic. For great under houses as well. Um, so here is the radon system. I bet there's a light switch if I search hard enough. I don't see one. Okay, so anyway, it's moving a lot of air. That's a good reading. It means it's not fighting a bunch of resistance. What is that? Okay, it's coming from the sewer line. So yeah, that's the septic people. Okay, back to our story. <laughs> so here's the secondary and actually a third suction point that they put on after the fact. I mean, that's ugly for sure, but the guy came back and tried. So... I don't even, I can't even trace all the suction points. I think that's, I think one of them is coming in here. Let's put our ears to the wall. I think it could be there, but also it lines up where posts would be too. And I, I have no idea where the third one is, no idea. So at any rate, what we'll do is we'll, um, We'll test what we've got, get the data, and go from there. You know, she's doing the smart thing. She's putting her house on the market. She's getting ahead of stuff by having her radon guy out. Uh, she's got septic folks out here. And um, I think a, a third person actually came up. I'm not sure what he's up to. So, um, and if you work with a realtor, he or she will advise you to do smart things like that. Get ahead of stuff if you're gonna put your house on the market. Okay, so I'm sitting here in my living room editing this video. Uh, from a year and a half ago, uh, October, November of 2019. It's currently mid-April of 2021. Um, see? <laughs> so at any rate, um, I have no more video from that job. The job was ultimately resolved by turning a high suction fan upside down. Perhaps a high flow fan could have done it because that's what I found on the job. At that time, I did not generally keep high flow fans, but now I do. Um, so if you become a radon installer, you're gonna to wanna to at least have one of those in your arsenal. They don't come up very often, but they do. They will come up. Um, so at any rate, uh, apparently a buyer put a contract on this house and uh, they hired a home inspector to come test the radon after I'd already been out there a gazillion times and in past. Um, so here's the conversation between me and that home inspector. When you're in the business long enough, you're going to know these folks and you're, you're going to get, you know, become privy to information that you probably really shouldn't be privy to. But that's what happens when you put your time in. You get to know the other pros that are uh, related in your field. Uh, so this home inspector communicated back to me. I was curious, hey, what happened with that? And uh, he says, well, that was an interesting installation. <laughs> Test result 2.7. So mission accomplished. Um, and so I responded, cool, originally done by so-and-so a million years ago. I'd heard of this technique as a Hail Mary. I replaced his original fan, which was upside down, and it came back at five and seven picocuries, so I flipped it back upside down. Uh, I've been out there like six times. <laughs> and uh, so he says, oh, hard to know what the theory is. And my reply is, I heard an old timer talk about it and glad it perked my ears. I suppose it pushes the radon out, diverting it elsewhere and not giving it a chance to seep into the home. So we're pushing radon out as opposed to pulling it out. Uh, so that's what worked in that case. Uh, so I've got a couple more for you in this video. So we'll get back into the computer. Oh, the weather outside is delightful. And those aren't the words I don't care because I like it when it snows I come out and work on radon systems this right here is one of my better examples of a gray system I will do white earth tone brown and gray and we've always landed on our feet with all of those those three scenarios and I'm out here today because I put this system in about a month or so ago and coincidentally it actually snowed when I put it in and um, we are upgrading the fan today why because we got it down from about 12 to right at 5 just not quite under 4 like we want and uh, between the customers and myself 
Our best guess is because they are avid wood burners. And does uh, burning wood or a uh, propane fireplace or gas fireplace have an impact on radon? Studies indicate yes. Um, I can't say exactly how. I'm just not nerdy enough. There's a nerd out there that's saying, well, Scott's because of convection and blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, we need a bigger fan. <laughs> and that's what we've come to do. And fortunately, the fan, the, the company that I use, the, um, the conventional fans and beefier fans take up the same amount of space. So it's not a big deal for me to swap. So we have been doing quite a bit of time traveling in this video. And uh, here is a third uh, home that I have treated by flipping the fan upside down. And with all those videos that I shot before, I guess I assumed that I was going to resolve the issue by beefing up the fan. Uh, and it ultimately, what, you know, we brought radon levels down like between four or five forever. They just wouldn't, they just wouldn't crack below four. And so flipping the fan upside down is what ultimately resolved it. I even came back and I dug out and drilled holes in the, you know, behind this brick is, is cinder block. And I drilled holes into what I thought would be the cavities of the cinder block. And then I injected uh, expanding foam into those cavities because I thought, well, maybe we're losing suction there. Still, nothing resolved it except for flipping the fan upside down. <laughs> and, you know, I'll just never know where we were losing the suction. So the customer happens to be home and uh, he's been monitoring the uh, radon and he's going to show us how we've been doing. So, all right, so we've been under four consistently. Well, know how we shot up to six there we'll see what happened there i'll ask him uh, so in the warmer weather uh, that we've had recently i decided to turn the fan off and open all the windows and doors and run a fan and when i did that i did see uh, an elevation occur then but then when i when i locked when i when i put the windows back down and shut the door turn the fan back on it quickly uh, reverses and gets under the yeah, so this, this radon game's a little tricky. Hey, thanks so much for helping. Okay, so something that just occurred to me about that job that we just looked at with Adam and uh, Caroline's home is that that was a sub-slab depressurization system. And what that means is that we dug down and out from the house and penetrated the slab of their home horizontally. So there's no components of the system um, inside their house. On that side of the house was finished and uh, the other side of the house was unfinished and that was just not a spot for the radon system to go so we went under the house horizontally i've got gobs of videos that touch on that subject so uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel and um, it's somewhere in my video library but this video is about flipping fans upside down so since i'm out and about today shooting videos for you I've come to my little favorite nature spot and I'm gonna get some exercise and walk three miles. Highly recommend it to everybody. No extra charge for that information. Okay, see you a little bit.